Max Verstappen's unquestionable talent is no fluke. It did not happen by chance. In this video, we'll look at the unusual parenting style that allowed Max to become the driving sensation he is today. Stick around to the end to hear what Max really thought of his dad's parenting style. This really threw us. A simplistic view of Verstappen is that, as a son of ex-F1 driver Joes and excellent carter Sophie Kumpen, he's made of the right stuff for racing. And with an assertive father, even by racing dad standards, Max could only ever go in one direction. Thorough, some might even say extreme, preparation has enabled him to capitalise on the potential provided by his exceptional racing genetics. Verstappen, who is still only 25, is both one of F1's current brightest stars and a driver who could well maintain that status for another decade or two. Now a nine-time champion, his rise to stardom wasn't all that surprising if you were paying attention. He debuted as a prodigy in 2015. He has unbelievable speed. Red Bull's motorsport advisor Helmut Marko said at the time. He is very mature for his age and he is a hard worker. He has all the ingredients you need to be an absolute champion. Of course, circumstances conspired to keep him from winning the championship until that fateful 2021 season, but he had otherwise lived up to the hype. Verstappen made his Formula 1 debut after only one year of kart racing, progressing from karts to European Formula 3. His ascension to the top may appear to have been quick, but it wasn't. In fact, he began his journey when he was just four years old. Verstappen's glittering karting resume, highly impressive rookie F3 season and 35 Grand Prix wins also suggest that his talent is such that this has become relatively easy. But in actuality, Verstappen's education was unconventional and difficult at times. Here's why. It began with a familiar story of a child who was fascinated by cars but was restrained by slightly hesitant parents. Verstappen began riding quad bikes when he was only two years old. When he was four, he saw a younger friend karting and asked his father if he could try it too. Joss resisted at first, but persistent pleading and a few tears got his mother on board and the Verstappens eventually relented, putting Max in a cart for the first time at four and a half years old. It was at Genk. It was on the rental circuit. It was a very small go-kart. Josh remembers in a 2020 Red Bull interview. We still have it. It's hanging in the shop where we sell the merchandise. But I remember after a few laps, he did the whole track flat out. And because of the vibration of the car, the carburetor was falling off at the time. We did it for one day and then immediately bought him a bigger go-kart. This begins the narrative of Verstappen as a prodigious talent. He won his first race age 7, age 9 he was a champion in Belgium and the Netherlands and he'd had more domestic titles over the next few years. By the age of 13 he'd won 3 WSK titles in Europe and finished second in the CIK FIA World Cup to future Red Bull teammate Alex Albon. He was world and European champion in the discipline's two most competitive and professional classes by the age of 16, his final year of karting. Max has extraordinary mastery of the vehicle, said Verstappen's CRG team boss Giancarlo Tinini in 2010. Few racers are able to make the difference in the first two laps of a race, he is one of them. Since his first karting outing, Josh Verstappen threw everything at his son's career. He worked on his chassis and engines in his watch shop during the day while Max was at school, with the pair testing at least twice a week. They drive over 100,000 kilometres a year in a van across the Netherlands, Belgium and beyond. 
we knew exactly which engine was the best and knew what carburetors were richer, so everything was sorted, Joss says. I knew exactly which engine we had to use and things like that. And of course, Max had to set up the carburetors for that. That's a feeling a driver needs to have. And I think he was very good at that. He was very precise on what he liked to have in his cart. Of course, this meant that Max would have less time at school. Especially when you start driving internationally, it becomes quite difficult to keep up to speed with school, Max says. From when I was like 11, 12 years old, it became quite tricky. I am not the person who likes to work on the engine. My dad really enjoys doing that. I always love driving more, but I think it's really important that you understand what's going on. I was always involved looking at what my dad was doing and understanding what he was doing. I never had that feeling of doing it myself. Verstappen has been exposed to this method of operation throughout his career, but this went beyond Joss's insistence that his son understand the mechanical side. The priority was always the driving. Having never quite hit the heights he'd hoped for in F1, Joss was determined to make sure Max become a superior driver to him. Some familiar sounding anecdotes emerge from this period in the Verstappen's lives, such as Joss sending Max out changing certain things in the car without telling him to improve his feedback, or continuing to test even when the rain came and most people packed up and went home. Verstappen was taught to learn by doing, to figure out his own limits while also understanding where the car could be faster. He was also told not to lie. If he didn't notice a difference, he would say so. And the process worked. However, the method was not always well received. Undoubtedly, many young aspiring drivers have had similar experiences. After all, karting dads are a distinct breed. Increased investments in time, effort and money led to increased expectations, which can sometimes manifest with a tougher approach. Nonetheless, Max Verstappen has stated that he is happy with his father's strict parenting style, believing that it has prepared him for the difficult mental battle of a Formula 1 title fight. A well-known anecdote about the Verstappens is that Father Joss left Max behind and alone at a petrol station at a young age, following a costly mistake at a karting meet. Mac was upset as a child, but says he can laugh about it today. Now yes, but then it was not so funny, said Verstappen. There is nothing worse than what I experienced then. I think what was good for me at the time, it hardens you. My father handled things in a way that I found very strict at the time, but today I'm glad he did it that way. It prepared me for, well, what's happening now. While some have questioned whether it's fair to treat a young child in this manner, there is no doubt that Joss's techniques worked with Max, as the Formula 1 driver would go on to watch his son become a two-time world champion. He is a strong example of how a driver's qualities are determined by both nature and nurture. Even if that is a bit soft word to describe his racing education at times, and the same end result could have been achieved with gentler methods along the way. Max has plenty of time to add to his championship total. He has been thinking about the future and has stated that if he has children, he will use different teaching methods if they want to race. I definitely want children, and if they want to race, that's fine, he told a Dutch newspaper. I do think I would do it differently than how my father and I handled it. I don't really see that at the moment, but for me it's easy talk because I don't have kids. Maybe I will think very differently when the time comes, but the passion he had went a long way. He did everything for me, tuning engines, preparing carts. I don't see myself doing that. Anyway, I'm not going to push my kids to race. They have to want it themselves. And if you want to go for it with your son or daughter, I don't think you can drive Formula One yourself anymore. You have to start laying the groundwork from the age of four. I want to be there myself. What do you think? 
Was Josh Verstappen's tough parenting style instrumental to make Max world champion? Please leave your thoughts in the comments section below. If you like this video about Max Verstappen, you'll want to check out the video on your screen right now.